All right, hello everyone. Today is February 4th, 2022. I'm taking a walk here on the beach. It's kind of gloomy, kind of foggy winter day here in Charleston, South Carolina. And I just figured I'd give you guys a little bit of an update. So we had the Lunar New Year on February 1st. So we are officially in the new year in terms of astrological energy, which is really what matters, right? So we can finally say goodbye to the 2021 energy. Very good, very good news there. And those of you guys who followed my channel, you know that like, oh my God, I spent a lot of time talking about how bad the charts, the mundane charts were for 2021 and 2020, but even worse for 2021 really, which was interesting. Um, the charts I was reading were the Lunar New Year charts. So this, we, did, we all just got a new Lunar New Year chart for all of the countries for the whole year. And it is better. It's not perfect, and I don't claim to be an expert on mundane astrology, so I don't even know what all it's saying, but it is much better. We have Jupiter uh, in Pisces, we have Mars exalted, and we have Saturn proud. These are three strong Jagrat planets, so we know that there can be some good things going on, not for every nation, not for every country. But I looked at the United States chart, and we have a pretty good chart this year. And it looks good for wealth and investing too, you guys. So uh, definitely, if you're interested in uh, using astrology to invest, please take my financial astrology cryptocurrency class. That's all on Teachable now. I have a link below. I have a whole new online school. That's pretty much all I've been doing since the new year is uh, my website got hacked around New Year's. If you saw that, it's, sorry about that. It's kind of embarrassing. I fixed it. And then I lost some of the crypto financial Udaya Jyotisha classes I was doing. And so I had to uh, basically start a, new, a whole new school. So it motivated me to create this whole online school on teachable.com, Eye of the Veda University. You can check that out. And uh, yeah, it's really exciting. So. I put the whole financial astrology course up there. Um, you can buy that. It's over 20 hours long. And you will see the proof of how we were able to forecast all these market windows. And the whole point of that class is, that course is like to make you money with the least amount of energy. And so I, I kind of rebranded it and everything. I started calling it Udaya Jyotisha because that's what it is. Udaya means the, it means upward movement and gain in life. And so Udaya Jyotisha is the astrology of upward movement and gain in life. I hope that makes sense. And so that's kind of what I'm using as my term for financial astrology, because it's just quicker and I like to use Sanskrit words when I can. Um, what else, what else? Yeah, oh, and so I've got, uh, I've also got a nakshatra course that I'm teaching and a regular Jyotish course. But this is gonna be, this is kind of cool because it's Jyotish and yogic philosophy. So, because I know there's already great astrologers out there teaching in a more like academic way, like Ryan Kurzak. So I'm trying to do more of like a spiritual yoga, just all well-rounded approach. So we do a little bit of meditation, we do a little bit of uh, mythology, Sanskrit, you know, uh, Vastu even, and, and then Vedic astrology. So it's all kind of more well-rounded. Um, I basically just share everything that I've found to be helpful for me in this in over the years So that's pretty cool. So I'll leave a link to that anybody who's wanting to learn astrology this year I'm really eager to teach more uh, With with the planets. It's a very good year for education for astrology So any of you guys who are learning and eager to learn check that out and then what else? Um, oh and I will say that just for those of you interested in crypto and stuff and maybe can't afford the class, the cryptocurrency bull market, I'm predicting that it will go up and down but continue in an overall bull market until March of 2023. So you guys still have time. Yes, if you've been curious like, oh, did I miss it? Did I not? It actually, you have a great window right now. So that's just throwing it out there and you have a year. You have a year to, to learn, you know? Um, you, you do have time. So I just wanted to say that as well. Um, Otherwise, yeah, I hope everything's been going well. We had a wonderful Venus retrograde, which y'all know I love that. That's my favorite retrograde. I talk about that often. And we had, we just finished Mercury retrograde. So Mercury just went direct today. 
maybe that's why I'm uh, finally making another video, who knows. But this is just a little update. Hope you guys are enjoying your winter. Aquarius, as Jaimini says, is the sign of Tatakayo Dharme. Tatakayo means of the shore, of tanks, water, ponds, even slopes. And so I've learned that Aquarius is actually the sign of uh, being at the shore, at the distance, you know? Um, it actually even rules surfers and skaters and people who deal with slopes and are riding on slopes, you know? I have a lot of fun insights on Aquarius this year. I mean, that's why Aquarius is such a weirdo, because it's the sign of things related to the shore. It's the most far out part of the land, you know? So Aquarius loves the edge, the fringe, the out there stuff, you know? Just like how Saturn is the furthest light we can see. So those are just kind of some cool things to think about with Aquarius. I know there's a lot of Aquarian weirdos out there that love to watch my channel, and I have my Atmakarika in Aquarius and the Navamsha. So I'm in Aquarius Swamp Aquarius Swampsha, as they say. All right, thanks you guys. Uh, Y'all have a great day, take care.